Hey, what's happening today? Remember that old uh, pressure washing hose I was telling you about that we need to do some repairs on? I think that'll make a great winter project for today. So let's go check it out. Remember this hose I was telling you about? You can see right here. This is where the guys wound it up. This is not kinked or busted yet. But normally I don't connect these together when I wind it up. I just put this one next to this one and Velcro it and then keep wrapping. But we're going to take all this hose off because down inside there we have a uh, bad spot on the half inch hose, the leader hose here. And that's because of the 45 degree um, elbow that comes out of that reel. So let me get this off and I'll show you what we're talking about and what we're going to do to repair them. This is a hose that I put away earlier this year. There's a crack right here. I don't know if you can actually see it, but I marked it. So this end will get cut off and that will be replaced. So there's a couple ways you can go about this. You can uh, either take a grinding wheel or a hacksaw and cut your hose and then buy a, an end and have it put on you know, and do it yourself from anywhere from, I don't know, eight bucks for one of those kits to 20 bucks, depending who you buy. But, you know, I don't like doing this. This is high pressure stuff, 4,000 pounds or higher. Uh, this happens to be jetter hose, but anyways, I'm going to take them to a shop and he'll put them on professionally, cut the ends off and put new ends on, and he'll charge me like 17 bucks an end, and I don't have to worry about them. Here on this half inch hose, you can see where the outer casing is scraped and come apart. The inner casing, everything is still there. This is just the outer shell. That hose is actually still good integrity. It's, but you know what? I'm just going to replace it because it's just a matter of time. Calm down, Hogan. And then of course over here, this is what we're talking about. See how this is kinked here because of this elbow? So we're going to redo this and attach the hose a little bit better way so we don't get that severe bend in there. So I'll have the guy cut, I don't know, 20 feet of this hose off from, from this spot, you know, in that last bit, and just have him re-put that end on. Well, this hose is in fairly new and it's in pretty good shape, so that's why I'm just going to cut this end here and replace this piece. I'm going to lose about, oh, 25 foot of this hose from here all the way over there. But, you know, this could have been avoided if... My guy just didn't uh, attach this to the reel the wrong way. And then they drug this over, you know, something sharp on the trailer or whatever and busted that skin. And the same with this hose. This is the 3 8 it's fairly new. But because they didn't disconnect the hose and wrapped it up, you got that big kink. So, you know, I'll cut that off. If these were older hoses, you know, a year or two old, a couple years old, I'd just replace the hoses. but. These are real new, so I feel pretty confident that just new ends will work nice on these instead of having to buy $400 in hoses or more. Here's another tip. When you're rolling up your hose and it wants to twist, I found it easier just to put a zip tie on one end like that. Now I got a reel, and I just kind of walk with the hose and roll it in my hand because this side is being held. And that way I don't have to fight the twist and kinks and all that. Now that I got half of this 200 foot hose rolled up, now I can just do it the normal way with hand and that just kind of unrolls as we go without it kinking all up. If you were really young and strong, unlike me, old, you could probably keep that in your hands and keep rolling it, but it gets too heavy for me. But starting off, the first 100 feet is just a lot easier for me to roll it up with that zip tie. I got my hose is ready to go. You can see down there where I actually marked which end where I want to cut. That's the swivel end to replace and then I put an arrow. We're going to cut about 30 feet off of that hose because that casing split where they drug it up and down the rough stairways or whatever. I'm going to replace this end because it's kinked. And on this other hose it's buried and there's one end on there. So you know you got to take care of your hoses guys because if you if you don't you either be replacing the hose at 150 bucks or 200 bucks a pop or whatever or in the case of something like that big half inch hose, 200 feet long, you know, five or six hundred dollars. So, off to the store we go, or the shop, and we'll have this guy hook it up. 
Well, look how big Hogan Helper's getting. Yeah, he's getting all mad at me because I'm ignoring him, making him lay over there on that cushion. Yeah, I know, buddy. Too bad. I'm glad I'm not you. If you had thumbs, you could go do something. One nice thing about the hand reels, if you look down here, you see the zerk fitting like the other hand reel had? And then when you look at these other reels, they don't have a zerk fitting. There's just a little screw in there. I guess you could take that screw out and install your own little zerk fitting if you wanted. Can I even see down there? Oh, Hogan's getting mad. What's up, buddy? You can't come over here and play? What's wrong? What's wrong? I know, you want to go flying, don't you? We'll take the machine out and fly later when it's a little warmer. I don't have time for this nonsense right now. This is the reel that I use for my uh, drain cleaning, so only water goes through it. You can see here where the guys rolled the hoses up and they're not wiping the hose off. You know, and dirt and stuff is just, just taking that finish right off of that reel. So I'm going to spray that down with some penetrating oil so it don't rust up too. So we sprayed that down and it's good for the winter. And don't forget, you have zerk fittings on your swivels. I'll go ahead and grease those up. And since this is water only going down a drain, when I sprayed my lube around this, I just sprayed a little bit more down inside there. It'll help get some of that water out, you know, and keep it off the sides from rusting a little bit. It's not, not a big deal. But I got to do that with the rest of these reels now. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really hope you enjoy them. If you have a comment or a question, leave it in the comments section below. I'll be glad to answer it as soon as I can, or maybe one of my subs will. But remember, please hit that subscribe button that's going to pop up, and YouTube is going to put more videos for you to watch over here. So enjoy yourself, grab the popcorn, and just remember, we really appreciate you being part of our family and subscribing to our channel. All the support you give us has been wonderful. So have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.